Welcome to the Keysmash Studios tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a cooldown timer using an image so that your player can see how long that they have until they can use that thing again. I'm not going to actually be creating an action that's happening along with this cooldown, as I'm assuming if you're looking up a cooldown timer, you already have an action that you're wanting to be delayed. So I'll just be putting a debug message inside it. But if you do have some suggestions for what you'd like to see with this cooldown, leave them in the comments below. As you're watching, if you find this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. So we're going to start off by creating our script. So we're going to go up to create C sharp script and I'm going to name mine cooldown timer. Then we can go ahead and open this. And the first thing we're going to do is create some variables. So the first one I want is a public image and I'm going to call this cooldown. This is the image that we'll be adjusting so that way the player can visually see as the timer counts down. We're also going to need to add a using so that way it recognizes image. This is going to be unity engine dot UI. Now we can go back. We're going to add another public variable. This one is going to be a float and I'm going to call it rate. We're having this be public so that way you can adjust the rate in the scene as you're playing. So that way you don't have to go back into the script and change a constant value in here. You can just change it in the editor. And then finally, our last variable is going to be a Boolean and this is going to be called cooling down. And this is going to be defaulted to false as whenever we're starting the scene, we're not cooling anything down. If you'd like to start off with the player needing to wait on the timer, you'd set this to true. And now we'll go ahead and go inside start. And what we're gonna do here is take our cool down image and we're gonna take this fill amount and I'm gonna set this to one. So what we're saying here is we want this image to be 100% filled as again, I'm not having the player starting off cooling down. If you do want this to start off cooling down, then again, you'd set that cooling down Boolean to true and you would set this fill amount to zero. But I'm having it at one because I want this image to be 100% full when they start. So that way they can activate this right away. Now inside of update, the first thing we wanna do is see if they've tried to activate whatever it is they're cooling down. And I'm just gonna tie this to my left mouse button. So it's gonna be input dot get key down key code and then it's a mouse zero for your left mouse button and then the other thing that I want to do is make sure that I'm not currently cooling down if you don't have this check to make sure that they're not currently cooling down, then they'll just be able to press the button as many times as they want and constantly activate it and the timer won't actually do anything. And so now what we're going to do is say if this player has clicked the left mouse button and they're not already cooling down, then we'll go ahead and activate our action. And this is going to be a function that we'll create. So we'll go ahead and do that. So void activate and inside this I'm going to take our cooldown image I'm going to take its fill amount and I'm going to set it to zero so this is saying I want the image to be at zero percent of its fill which means there will be no image visible on the instance of them clicking and then what I'm going to do next is take my cooling down boolean and setting it to true. My player has used this action. I now want to begin the cooling down process. And then if you have other code that you're wanting to happen with this, this is where you'd put it. So just whatever action you're doing would be here. And what I'm going to do is just debug.log and we'll say action. Again, I'm not doing an actual action for this as I'm going in assuming if you're looking for a cooldown, you already have an action that you have in mind. And so the next thing we wanna do is actually handle the cooling down process. In other words, we're gonna get our image back to its 100% fill. So this will be inside update as well. We're gonna say if we're cooling down, then we'll call our cooldown function. And then this cooldown function it's going to add to the fill amount of our image. So cool down dot fill amount plus equals our rate, which again, we'll give a value to inside the editor. 
And then I'm also going to multiply this rate by time dot delta time. So that way our frame rate is taken into account as it adjusts this fill rate. For those who don't know, the time dot delta time is just the amount of seconds that have passed since your previous frame. And now finally, we want to see if our fill amount is full. So cooldown dot fill amount is equal to one. And when our fill amount is back at that 100%, then we want to go ahead and say our cooling down equals false. And this will allow the cycle to continue. Sorry, this should be cooling down. And now once it goes back to false, the player will once again be able to click their left mouse button, and this statement of not cooling down will be true, and so they can activate their action once again and will go back through the cycle. So this is all of the code for this tutorial, so we can go ahead and go back to the scene. And we're going to take our capsule, which is just our character for this, and we're going to add our cooldown timer. And then we want to create some UI, so we're going to create our image. And I'm going to make it have a source image of a knob. You will need to give it a source image. It doesn't matter what the source image is as long as it has one. So that way you can change the image type to filled. And then as you can see, it's at 100% right now. This is zero. And then as it progressively goes up, it just fills the image back. So now we want to go back to our capsule and attach that image as our cooldown image. And then I'm going to give it a rate of one. So now we can go ahead and test and play. And then if I click on my screen, you can see that the image goes to zero and then progressively fills back up. And as you can see down here in my debug, it says action. So we'll switch over to console real quick and I'll show you if I click a bunch, it only does the action once until it's full again and then it lets me do the action again. And then now we'll change this just so I can show you how you can adjust. So if that's too slow, you can literally just come over here while it's moving, switch it to point two and see that it gets faster, switch it to one and then it gets significantly faster. So as a recap, we used Unity's image fill amount property and we created a visible timer from this so that way the player could see this timer in their HUD. As always, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments, or you can join our Discord and ask them there. We make videos on here every Wednesday and Saturday, but we also stream games on Twitch Tuesdays and Fridays. We have a game called Blast Off on the Google Play Store, and we have an asset pack of kids' toys on the Unity Store. We also have a Patreon that has a YouTuber supporter tier, so if any of those things interest you or you'd like to support us in any of those ways, I will link all those things in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.